Here's the ultimate Lake Chelan land buyer's guide. I'm going to take you around Lake Chelan to my favorite spots where my clients have bought land and built custom homes when looking to retire. So if you're looking to explore Lake Chelan and get to know the areas in greater detail, whether you're looking to retire there or buy a second home, we're going to explore this because a lot of these areas people don't even know exist. They don't know they have names and how to find opportunities there. And so I'm going to take you along a journey. So we're going to look at the map and I'm going to show you some of my absolute favorite spots on Lake Chelan. See, Lake Chelan is it's 52 mile long lake. So there's a lot of area to, to cover, right? But a majority of the lake, let's say 25 miles on the south shore. So the, the south shore of the lake is 25 miles long and it ends at 25 Mile Creek, the state park. And on the north shore, it probably goes 16, 17 miles of road. So even though it's 52 miles long, there's not a lot of buildable area there, right? It's boat access only up lake. So the first place you can think about is Stehekin. That's at the very end of the lake. Very few people build there, but we do have clients that have cabins in Stahican and they love them. I actually had a client that lived up there full time and they absolutely love it. So let's go on a journey uh, around Lake Chelan. The first thing I want to point out is as you come up Highway 97A, the alternative, alternative route, it pops you into Lake Chelan. And so you, as you just start seeing the, the lake, to your left, the northwest, is Bear Mountain Ranch. So you can kind of see that. I'm going to zoom in. Bear Mountain Ranch. That's a golf course community, right? So you can see the different tee boxes, the different golf course, um, some great places to build there. Slots still available in 2024. Also some land you can buy. So first thing I want to point out is Bear Mountain Ranch. Bear Mountain Ranch is a golf course community. There's still lots to build there. They do have covenants and architectural controls. So you have to build a very specific type of property. But, you know, I have a client right now building a home uh, in that area. It's a great area. Very beautiful views. Obviously, if you like to golf, that's premier location. Now on the North Shore, there's a Lake Chelan. I'll show you that if you like to golf. If you like to golf, you know, you go to the North Shore on the other side. There's actually the Lake Chelan Municipal Golf Course, right? And well, there's no lot, really lots there in the Lake Chelan Min Municipal, but around there you'll have like golf, you'll take Golf Course Road and you'll go up to Bogey Boulevard and there's a, a street called Long Drive, right? These areas are fairly well built out. So you might, instead of building, buy a, an existing home there. Great views looking south. Being on the North Shore, you're going to get lots of sun tons of sun, more sun than you can possibly bear in August compared to the South Shore where Bear Mountain is, you're going to be looking north. So you're going to have less sun uh, in the winter, but in the summer you're going to have ample sun. Don't trust me, Look, even though you're north, you're going to have ample sun, but it, you're not going to have as much on the North Shore, which some people just absolutely love the sun. So that's the municipal golf course there. Other than that, no other golf courses, you know, unless you go, you know, you go on the Columbia River. So you go down to Orondo or, you know, there's the Inyat side of Columbia River on your way to Lake Chelan or Orondo. And there you, you can have a uh, Desert Canyon Golf Course. There's some uh, opportunities to build there still and buy a home. So back, back to Chelan. So you, as you enter into town, it takes you into what is called the Big Y. And I'll tell you, you know, this is what the locals call the Big Y. Come down State 97A, drops you into the Big Y. The Big Y is the Big Y. Well, you can go left, or you can go right. When you go right, you're going to the city of Chelan. You go left, you're going up lake to 25 Mile Creek. And so if you go up lake, lots of waterfront. I mean, it's basically waterfront lots all the way up. The majority of these Lake Chelan waterfront lots on the South Shore have been built on. So looking to build that waterfront dream home on the South Shore, right? That's going to be few and far between, but there's still lots available in there. They're going to be steeper. They're going to be rocky. They're going to be hard to build on. But if you do, you're going to have an amazing Lake Chelan waterfront home. So there are opportunities to buy lots still on Lake Chelan, you know, and the price ranges vary. And they, you typically have docks. As you get up lake on the south shore, I would say, you know, three, four miles up lake, there's no more sewer, right? So there's no more sewer. It's all going to be septic systems on the way up. The majority, all those homes are going to get their water from a well or from the lake. So those homes, Lake Chelan waterfront homes, they're actually pulling water out of the lake. And so it's kind of interesting. You actually have filtration systems, UV lights, 
you know, advanced. So people drink the lake water, believe it or not, up lake. So they go up and you kind of see on the map, I'm just kind of taking your way up. But there's some communities, Morning Sun, View Drive, uh, Karma, Karma Vineyards is a, a winery on the South Shore, two miles up lake, Karma Vineyards. There's actually a development that they did above the winery, really great. Some lots in there you can buy and build on. Uh, but even before that, as you pass Fielding Hills Winery, there's a development, um, there's a couple developments on the up lakes or on the other side of the highway. So there'd be the south side of the highway where they have great views of the lake, but you're not on the waterfront, but great opportunities to build in that area. Now, even before Bear Mountain Ranch, I want to point out Close Cheval. Close Cheval is a great development, amazing views. Almost every lot in there has amazing views of Lake Chelan. And all of the homes in there, it's a gated community. All the homes are high-end, luxury homes, custom-built homes. There's vineyards throughout the HOA. So like the HOA actually manages the vineyards. And I think at, over the years, sometimes it's self-managed. So they actually get the, you actually produce the wine and as a HOA member, you get a bottle of wine or a case of wine at the end of the year. And sometimes the HOA decides to just lease the vineyard out to some local wineries. So if you're into that wine kind of culture and the ambience of seeing the vineyards and the rolling hills, Cloche Cheval right here, is definitely a place to look. So let's go back to the big Y. And right when you hit the iconic Patton Mike's gas station, we're, we're going to head into town. So as we're heading into town on 97, you're going to see Chelan Cellars Up Lake, one of the first wineries, one of the first big wineries. There's some lots in here. There's some bigger acreages that you might be able to buy, you know, acre, two acre, 10 acres of North Shore. Uh, 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 that look with a north facing view. There's also Lake Chelan homes on your way through into town. Um, really deeper lots, low bank waterfront, gorgeous stuff. Go past Melisoni and you hit Lakeside. Lakeside Park is a public park right here. You can see it. There's a hotel right there. There's a condo development right there. A couple condos, good opportunities to buy condos there. And there's a little like village, you know, Lakeside home. So there's homes in there and there's still some lots that come on the market. And that road up from Lakeside actually takes you to Chelan Butte. So you can take Chelan Butte Road and it takes you all the way up. I can't even show you on this map, but if I zoom out, you can see you can go all the way up to Lake the Butte. And if you haven't been to the Butte, see the Butte right here, Chelan Butte Hang Glider Takeoff. They've actually had world championship hang glider competitions up here. And so if you haven't driven all the way up to the top of Chelan Butte, you need to do that. You can, people hike up to the top of it. I've mountain biked to the top of it and mountain biked down. The views are absolutely incredible because you can see all of Lake Chelan and the city and the Columbia River. So you're sitting on the top of that. The hang gliders actually go not into Chelan. They actually land on the Columbia River. So they go to the Butte and go on the backside. So that's really cool. Now I should point out Lakeside is a great area and it's because it's really close to the city of Chelan. So as you start getting closer to the city of Chelan, you know, I think the popular, popularity goes up because people like to go downtown Chelan. They like to go to the restaurants. They like to go to the stores and different things like that. Um, so you're going to have the Lady of Lake right here just past Lake, Lakeside. Not a lot of building opportunity going on there. You got Peter's Waterfront, Peter's Waterfront condos, so nice condos, nice resort. And then you got the city. Now, there's still lots within the city limits that people can do some infill building on. So if you want that in-town feel, those lots do come available. And also a lot of older homes, I mean older homes, 20s, 30s, 50s, 70s, that you maybe go in there and you remodel it. Maybe you want to have that feel, and so you're downtown. There's a lot of opportunity to do that too. Now, if you take your, if you work your way out of town, so I'm heading east now, I'm heading towards the airport. So you go past Walmart. There's some lots near Walmart, some subdivisions there. And then you can go all the way out to the airport. The airport, you can see Apple Acres Road, uh, lots of land. Look at all these, look at all the orchards out here on your way out here. No Lake Shline views whatsoever, but you're near the airport, you're really close, and there's acreage. So if you're looking for more of a horse property, or you want to have a hobby, a hobby farm or run a little 10-acre orchard, the property does come for sale 
here and there out by the airport, right? And it's going to be a little bit less. Actually, it's going to be quite a bit less than a view property. Anytime you got a view, you're going to pay a premium for it, obviously. But if you want horse property, you're going to go out to the airport or you go up past, I'm back in town. If you can see, I'm back in town. I'm going to go up the hill to what is called like Union Valley. So you can work your way up all the way in the hills, what is called Union Valley. This is a lot of horse property. That's actually, they have the rodeo grounds up there. You can still get really great views of Lake Chelan, but it's going to be more of a dirt road, gravel road to get up there. I mean, you're definitely in the country. It's definitely, definitely rural. So now I'm on the back in, back in town going on the North Shore. So now I'm starting to head towards Manson. So Manson is a little village town seven miles from Chelan. And I can't wait till we get there because I think there's lots of opportunities to build out in Manson. But we're, right now we're by Darnell's, the lookout. The lookout is an amazing development right here. That's on the waterfront side, south facing, lots of sun, lots of amenities. You can build in there. Now, when you do build in there, you're probably going to use their developer or it's going to be a pre-sale opportunity. So you're not really picking your builder. You're really picking a floor, a lot and a floor plan that's already established. So it's new construction, but it's not a custom design for you but there's lots of great things there. I see more opportunity near the lookout happening, really connecting the Vindu Lock Winery and the lookout. So as you move up the Manson Highway to Manson, you're gonna have Lakeland Hills. So let me pull in here. Lakeland Hills is a, a community waterfront development. You can see you go up Boyd Road and you have all of these homes in here. These homes were built in the like the late 60s, 70s, 80s, and there's been some newer homes being built in here uh, just recently in the last 10 years. So there are still some lots to be had in Lake Chelan Hills. There's uh, probably two or three community pools throughout there. They have access to waterfront. So this is where they're at. They actually have waterfront access down here. You have to you go through Lake Chelan Shores, which is Lake Chelan Shores is a watermark lake uh, resort with lots of condos. You can't build in there, but you drive through there to get to the Lake Chelan Hills Community Waterfront. And as you, as you go up the highway, you can see here that I'm actually in Division Three right here, El Dorado Way, El Dorado Court. That's Lake Chelan Hills Division Three. Same community across the street. You see this waterfront. I don't know if you can see my mouse moving. This waterfront is the community waterfront. So if you can find a lot in Lake Chelan Hills, you're going to have access to all those to the waterfront. And the HOA dues are going to be very inexpensive for what you get. You're going to pay a lot less in taxes, but have access to the water. So it kind of it's kind of in between waterfront and non-waterfront is community waterfront. Another community waterfront development just up lake from Lake Chelan Hills is Crystal View Estates. So you can see Crystal Drive and all of the offshoots. You can see, I'm looking on Google Maps right now, look at all these lots. There's lots of lots on Crystal Drive, Waterview Drive, right, all the way up. And, and to the northwest of that is Legacy Ridge. So the extension of Crystal View Estates is Easton Way, Apple Avenue, View. There's still lots in there that you can find and buy. Most of those lots have been sold. So when you go to buy one of these lots, it's gonna be someone that bought it, didn't build, now they're gonna sell it to you in the future for you to build. But those are great opportunities. They also have community waterfront. You can see, see these docks right here? Not these ones, these are private docks, but these docks right here, that, that's Crystal View Estates, right? Whoa, I just went past it. That's Crystal View Estates. Crystal View Estates also has this pool right here, and they have another pool. If I scroll up, I'll find it. It's there somewhere. This tennis court, basketball court, and another pool. So I really like that. I like that development a lot. The views are insane. The views are really, really good. Every single lot has an incredible view because they, when they built it, they kind of terraced it out. So the developer did a good job of having really level building sites. Um, so we're going north, it gets pretty steep. We actually go across what is called Rocky Point here on Highway 150, see this, Rocky Point. It's actually where a cow, I don't know what year it was, but it was, I don't know, 2008 or nine or 10, a cow actually lost its way 
and fell like 60 feet and it landed on the hood of someone's car and that the hood of the car they were like driving from like indiana like they were they were they're still on their way to manson from indiana or something crazy and the cow landed on their hood they didn't die i think they were probably hurt a little bit but they were they were overall fine but that it, when you drive to manson you'll know that's a steep cliff and so there's some homes up here actually above where you kind of go into Benson Winery. See Benson Winery right there, really well-known winery. See all of these um, orchards. Some of these orchards are starting to sell off. So you're looking at two acre, three acre, five acre, 10 acre parcels. So you can have that grand estate property. You're gonna pay a lot of money for that land, but you're gonna have amazing views of the lake overlooking uh, looking back into town and also looking towards Wapato Point. See Wapato Point right over here? I think that's a cool view where you can kind of see the bay. Mill Bay, they call, this is called Mill Bay. So the southeast part of Wapato Point is Mill Bay because it used to be a mill, right? They would, they would log and, and bring the logs down Lake Chelan and then mill them right here. So it's Mill Bay, it's a beautiful day. And there's actually Mill Bay Beach is a development there that I like. There's the boat launch on our way there, right? And now we're into Manson. So now you get into Manson. Manson is like a small town, small downtown, but it's a huge area. So look at this. Manson is all of this. We're talking Wapato Lake. We're talking Roses Lake. We're talking Dry Lake. We're talking all of this Summit Drive and all of this land. Look at all this land. We're looking Rootwood Cider and then downtown Manson. So. When it comes to like building, you know, you want to be focusing on Manson as well. They're not going to be a lot of developments. So they're not going to be like HOAs and, you know, uh, curbs and sidewalks. They're going to be like, you know, a half acre here, 10 acres here, 20 acres here, because it's in the county. So it's in the county zoning. So it's really hit or miss. You know, I can't really predict what's going to come on. It's probably going to have an orchard or an old orchard and they're going to pull it up, right? But you're going to have this like real rural kind of, agricultural fill, you know, there's going to be sprayers, there's going to be people farming, right? That's what it is. That's the community. So just know that, but it's really cool. Uh, the roads are not really developed out. You know, they're not huge wide roads. They're really windy and curvy. They call them Manson Straits. So a Manson Strait is basically a road that goes and then like turns. Like, so when you're, when you have someone navigating for like, keep, keep straight. And you're like, that's not straight. That's a right. Well, it's a Manson straight. Cause it kind of curves around. There's no straight roads. I think the, the old timers will tell you there's like only one four way stop in Manson, like where it's actually, <laughs> there's actually, it's a perpendicular stop. Everything else is curvy roads, but it's really cool. Lots of waterfront, right? So as you get out of town, there's, you go Lakeshore drive, Lots of waterfront, lots of orchards. Uh, you can do Airbnb and vacation homes out there. Um, and it kind of ends at Green's Landing. It's really hard to find something up there. But more or less, I think there's lots of opportunity. There's also opportunity on Roses Lake to buy waterfront on Roses Lake and Wapato Lake and Dry Lake. Those are essentially like retention ponds, really. They're like, they're like runoff, not retention, but there's like runoff from Antelon Lake up here. And a lot of the irrigation comes from there too. Uh, Dry Lake is actually a reservoir where it's just like uh, orchard runoff, right? So from all the irrigation. Um, but the Lakeshland Reclamation District delivers, Lakeshland Reclamation District headquarters is in Manson and they have lots of irrigation. So most of your land that you're gonna get around Lakeshland, the North Shore is gonna have irrigation water. A lot of it's gonna have irrigation water, right? And that's really great and, and it's amazing. So. Um, more or less, that, those are my favorite areas. You can explore um, past the state park on the South Shore. So kind of going back that way. So if I take you back to the Big Y and then up Lake, you go to the Lakeland State Park, not a lot of places to build there other than the waterfront. But you can go up what is called uh, Navarre Coulee. So there's actually a cutoff on the Columbia River. So as you're coming up the Columbia River, before you go to the tunnel, you know the tunnel hill as you're coming up, you're on your way to Schland. You can actually, before that, take a left to Navarre Cooley, right here on the Columbia River, okay? And kind of make it to the state park. It's like a cutoff to the state park. So you take this 97-1 road, 
And it's a, it's a coolie, Navarre coolie. And there's land. We sell all the time. We sell, we've sell property to clients that buy two to 20 acre pieces of land up there. And they build their homes there, right? And they can put, have their horses. They can have farm animals, their dogs. It's really quiet. It gets really cold in the winter, I can tell you that. Because the sun kind of in the winter is south. So it just barely crests into that coolie. So these coolies get really cold. Um, but what's nice about them is you can get land for a fraction of the cost. They're going to be wells. But you can also, within minutes, be down to the lake. So you can just jump right down to a boat launch on the state park. It's rarely super busy. I mean, there's definitely people, but it's a great place to go. Anything, anything up lake, so up lake from the state park, it's going to have, on the south shore, it's going to have a real timber feel, a real Wenatchee National Forest feel, because you're literally at the Wenatchee National Forest, right? It's going to have a lot of that. I mean, you can literally go to the 25 Mile Creek and go south and end up in Inuit, Ardenvor, right? Just one valley over is the Inuit Valley, which is the Inuit River. And they're all connected by four service roads and trails. And so if you like that hiking and the kind of that timber feel, that's what's cool about Lake Chelan, is you can have that high desert dry as a bone. You can have that orchard feel. You can have that lake, la lake front feel. You can have the Columbia River feel. And you can have this forest feel. More or less, we specialize in helping people re relocate, retire, and va own vacation homes in Lake Chelan. So, if you're interested in this area, where are the relocation specialists? You know, go to our website, nateMcLeanRealEstate.com. Start searching. Reach out to one of our agents, or give us a call, and let's kind of dive into what you're looking for. What's your interests? What are your goals? And we can match the area with you. I mean, it's going to take you years to figure out all of these different areas. Maybe you want to come over, and we'll give you a tour of the area to to look and feel and actually see these places, to you know, see what you like. And as a local expert and being a relocation specialist for Lake Chelan, we kind of know as the seasons change, how does it how does it change your lifestyle? I can tell you, I've owned a home on the lake on the lake on the South Shore. It's much different in the winter than it is in the summer, obviously because of the season. But it's a drastic difference in how the sun, where the sun is located, right? Because Lake Chelan's in this like really kind of a bowl. You got Stormy Mountain here. And you got these mountains over here, and where the path of the sun makes a big difference on when the, there's a sunset, whether or not you can see the sunset. During like at my house, some years, some time of the time of the year, I don't see a sunset. Some time of the year, I see a sunset, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we know these things. So give us a call, and we will figure out your areas to look for. And there's never going to be the right time to buy in Lake Chelan. There's never going to be a ton of inventory. What you want is not on the market. It's not. It's not. So what we do is we find out what are your, what's your criteria like, and then we, we, we set it up and we look and we wait. And when it hits, we notify you. Right? We have clients that's it's a year, two year, 10 year project. Right? They are very specific. They're very discriminate in what they're looking for, and that's how we find it. Because right? I can tell you right now, Justin Manson, you know, as we shoot this in 2024, there might be 10, 10 listings, 10 homes on the market, tops. There might be 15 pieces of land, right? And so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of take that Venn diagram, what you're looking for, and match it up on Lake Chelan. So I hope you enjoyed this and, and kind of taking a tour, a quick tour around Lake Chelan. There's so much more to enjoy and see and for me to tell you about, but I wanna stop there because that's the first introduction into the ultimate guide to buying land in Lake Schlund.